What's up, everybody? Spare with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Space Engineers. And as you can see, our little underground platform here is coming along rather well. Uh, I do agree with... Um, Dag nabbit, I wrote down a bunch of comments to go over and I totally forgot who said this one. That uh, the... Um, in agreement with what I said in the last episode, that the... Um, uh, I, the drill platform and the nanobot thing. It, oh no, it was actually the drill platform, the nanobot, and then I think the Tim script, maybe? The Tim script was in there somewhere in that conversation, but I don't remember who it was about, but said that it was a really good com combination. Um, and the Tim script did actually look interesting. I just kind of um, didn't really want to use it, basically, is the bottom line. Uh, for no other particular reason other than just I kind of think eventually I want to do my own inventory management script that is not necessarily do the same thing but just do it my own way um which actually brought me to um hmm, which one was this ah the um chozo sr388 comment um, I've got to read my own writing here, which is a bad thing because I don't actually have the comments pulled up when I start recording. I have them on my tablet written on a little scribble digital note thing. So I have to be able to read my own writing, which sometimes doesn't work. Oh, okay. So they were talking about knowing the bug. So I'm not crazy. I, I'm not insane. Well, yeah, no, that's, that's debatable, but I'm not crazy about the bug thing where you lose the skins on your weapons. Um, and tools. You can see them kind of flashing. Um, but what we, what I encountered in the last episode, actually it was before I recorded, I mentioned it briefly, was when I switched them at certain points throughout playing, they would just go back to weapon or skinless, which that's what Chozo was responding to saying, you know, I've seen that before kind of thing. Um, also mentioned that they wouldn't mind a programming series type of thing again, and remarkably, which shocked me, um, that they're still using the Sleepless OS power script, which was really cool. I didn't even actually knew it still worked. I, I, <laughs> I thought it broke, because um, most of the scripts from a while back broke after a while when they changed a bunch of the in-game scripting language stuff and ended up breaking a bunch of stuff. Uh, let me double check real quick, because it doesn't seem like we're getting more done. Steel plates, so what's holding this up? This is confusing to me, because I thought I had the inventory set to talk to each other. And apparently they're... Oh, they are! It just apparently got done with all that. Holy crap! I need more iron. Um, yeah, we're just gonna let that go for a minute. So this should start making again. Okay, cool. Um, there we go. Very, very good. Uh, what was the other thing that it said it needed? Let's see if I can get it to come up here. Nope, it's still focused on the steel plates. Okay, never mind. It'll get to it eventually. I think it was uh, tubes and girders, maybe? I don't remember, but we have the small steel tube, so that must not have been it. Um, eh, whatever. We'll let it go. Um, so, yeah, that was a cool, fun little tidbit. And I do intend to get back into the programming side at some point. Um, I just have no idea when I'm actually going to have time to, to do it. And I've talked before about wanting to do it a bit more uh, pro polished kind of thing where it's not more of a let's code it's more of an actual like okay so here's things that people wanted and we figured out how to do it type of thing um and because of that i don't think i want to be I, I can't really do like an episode of the week kind of way of doing that it has to be more of a project at a time and that could take various amounts of time um also just as kind of an FYI, as far as a behind the scenes, what's been kind of going on. Um, I, For those of you that don't know, that didn't watch my Elite Dangerous episode this week, um, I actually finished the first draft of my book, which is really exciting. To me, anyway. 
Um, and so I'm into the revising and polishing phase where I'm going back through and kind of like, no, I don't like how this sounds, change that, or, or this doesn't adequately describe something, so change that, stuff like that. Um, so we're in kind of the past the middle point with that and kind of into more of the editing type side of things, which is really cool. Um, on my on for me as as a developer because it's like hey we actually got a milestone kind of thing like the bulk of it's done um, so that's been keeping me very busy uh, but the other thing is some of you are aware that I've been having off and on issues with my dog's health mainly his foot he keeps getting infections which breathe which uh, creates these this sore that keeps coming back on his foot um, so kind of a quick and dirty explanation of what's going on on that front, because it may end up affecting my, um, recording schedule somewhat. If nothing else, it will affect just the quality of the episodes of, there might be less cutting things out because I don't have as much time. I've gone over that before where, um, he kind of just obsesses over this sore on his foot, even though it's not a very severe sore, he just really pays attention to it, tries to lick it, tries to chew on it, that kind of thing, which is clearly, obviously bad for healing things. You know, ripping them back open repeatedly is not a good way to get them to heal. Um, so, uh, but eventually, you know, he keeps getting these infections, which is where they, they're basically like cold sores for a dog, apparently, according to the vet. Um, well, so anyways, he keeps getting them. He got another one almost a week after being done with his last one. And I kind of called the vet and was like, what the heck, dude? What's going on? Um, and so he wants him to come in and have the thing biopsied and stuff, which makes sense. He's wanting to isolate, like, what the bacteria... Th anyways, I don't know how that's going to affect everything as far as it seems fairly minor. It's not a big deal in terms of, like, it's not like he's having something amputated or something like that. Um, so it's not a very severe thing, but I don't know if there's going to be any added post-op things involved. I don't think there will be that we're not already doing for his already existing sore. But I will keep you guys in the loop as far as I have toyed around with the idea of kind of taking a break from videos because it's been fairly difficult to try and juggle all the scheduling things and still have somebody keeping an eye on him at all times. Um, I, at the moment, I'm able to maintain it, but as you, some of you are aware... Um, I haven't really put in some of the same amount of time of putting in a few hours per episode and cutting out some of the boring stuff and things like that. And that's part of it, is because I haven't had as much time on my hands to do my episodes. So, if that ends up getting to a point where I'm thinking it's going to affect it too dramatically, um, I may end up taking a, like, a week or two sabbatical thing, whatever, until that's kind of mostly gone. Um... So, yeah, I'll, but between that and the book stuff and things, it's it's been keeping me pretty busy, and that's why I've been leery of even entertaining the idea of getting into a more polished programming series, because programming, for any of you that know, have done it, whether it's a hobby or a profession, it is a time sink. Like, it will just zap whatever time you had set aside for said thing. Um... So yeah, I do want to do it at some point, though. There there will be a Programming 102 series or something at some point. I just have no idea when. Um, so yeah, I, that, that kind of got me on that topic because of Chozo's comment talking about, you know, yeah, I would like another series and I still use this. I was like, oh, that's cool. But it, it kind of brought up that topic that I wanted to address it, which kind of tied into my current you know, haphazard schedule at the moment. Um, so, yeah, that's just a quick and dirty update on kind of what's been going on on my end of the woods. Uh, but back to the game here, because we're not really getting much done here. Um, Eternal Goat brought up a good idea as far as um, basically kind of trying to mirror what we have up above us. Do I still have my spectator camera up there? Kind of trying to mirror this. Um, as like a separate platform, the drilling platform being a little separated from the production side kind of thing. Um, and then having this little bridge thing to go along with it. Which I actually do kind of like that idea. Um, we talked about that in the last episode that I think I have more room planned out than what I have up there. 
So we might be able to do it, but we'll end up cleaning up some of the steel. Like we might remove some of this to narrow a passage and make kind of a bridge walkway. Now, the caveat to that is they also suggested making a cave-like thing where it was like your bridge goes through a small tunnel. I don't know how to do that in survival. I don't think they have a method for replacing terrain. There's only a way to get rid of it, as far as I know. Um, now, there might be a way to switch the world save over to like creative and come in with a pixel uh, or a voxel hand and, and fill it in that way or some using something like, I don't know, maybe even... Uh, SE toolbox or something, but if it can be done, I agree. I think that would be cool to have your production area and then a small little cave tunnel with a little bridge, you know, and then you reach the, the drilling platform. I do think that would be a cool idea. Um, now, now I have a little bit of a palette testing that I, I want to mess around with because I have received some new color suggestions. Between uh, David Schaefer, Duke00x, I'm walking into a wall because I'm reading on my tablet, um, Chozo, and um, to, to Panzer, I think is the name. All of them did various different suggestions and conversations on different color suggestions for the, the grid, but I kind of want to mess with them because I don't really know what some of these are. Uh, one was 313 and 100 for... 100 on this, 100 on that. Oops, wait, what am I doing? Can I just default this? Oh, it did. Okay, cool. Uh, let's pick this. I don't ever use this, so let's do this. So 100, 100, and then 313? Like that? Which I agree. I would probably never use that color. So that's supposed to be for grinding. A, a grind color. <laughs> yeah, I'm def I, I can literally think of no scenario where I would I would use that color. I, I completely concur. Um, so that's the grind color that was suggested and we'll go ahead and use this one right here or maybe even this one. And this one was 100 100 by 113 I believe. Oh well, come on. It's just it just hates me. Ah, 114, whatever, we're going with it. So this should be the ignore color, It was the suggestions. And they're both very bright and vibrant. Probably I will never use them, so I could totally see that as colors. Um, and then uh, Chozo said that the 313, I think, is the same color as the missing texture color, which may or may not be. It doesn't actually have the missing texture logo, because if I remember correctly... The missing texture thing is that black and pink checker pattern, and I don't think... I don't... Th that might be the same color, but it's not actually the same texture. I wasn't sure if it was a, a color code thing, where if you put in the right code, it gave you the... Um, yeah. The things. The stuff and the things. Uh, <laughs> so, the other suggestion from 2Panzer was to make it 323 instead of 313. I don't know if there's any real difference. Seems like splitting hairs, really, <laughs> at this point. Um, I mean, they are virtually identical. I really see no difference in it. So, we'll probably just go... Oh, no. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, that was weird. I thought it defaulted. Okay, fine. So yeah, those actually are pretty good color suggestions, and David Schaefer was, uh, did agree with me on my last video's comments saying that pink was suggested for the, um, the grind color as well. So apparently everybody is in agreement about pink being the grind color. Um, there was another suggestion by, by David, though, to when we got one of those drop pods that brings the skins and stuff to haul it back to... Um, the base here and let the nanites take care of it, uh, uh, grind it down. That's an interesting suggestion, and it's one that I think would probably work, um, like, it seems like it would work okay. The, the only problem I have with it is I don't have a better, a really good method of hauling them back at the moment. I barely got that driller, um, running as it is. I mean, as it is, it's still stranded out there because it needs more power, so... Um, 
I haven't really made a good, decent hauling ship type of thing that would make that um, a plausible scenario, I suppose, if you wanted to put it that way. Um, wait, did it already run out of more iron? Good gravy. Still needs 588 panels. Jeez. Okay, now here's the question. Did it run out of iron or did it run out of things to build? Looks like it ran out of iron. Oh no, it's just hadn't pulled it from it. Okay. So in that case, let's just do another thousand. Just screw it. Who cares? Um, and then we'll set this to... I don't know. Just make more. <laughs> make it the more. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty sure that covers all the comments I wanted to go over. And as for, like, plans, like I said, I, I'm not sure how much progress I'll actually be making in each episode, because I'll probably be doing a little bit less cutting out um, some of the dull, monotonous stuff because of my current schedule. Well, not, the, not so much schedule, just time. A, a t available time would probably be a better phrase. Um, so what I want to see here is this is one, two, three, four, five blocks in width with all of the upgrades on it. Um, so we want to make sure that we put that five blocks away. Now, I do intend to inset it as far as like where this bridge actually is, is going to be the floor of that new platform. So we need to go down about two more blocks. Um, and about five blocks in... Ooh, okay, where am I? So one, two, three, four, five. And that would include the catwalk as well, but I do need to dig out this area. So let's just mark this. Uh, actually, hmm, I have an idea. Oh, and it's by what? It's five by five? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. So it's a five by five space. Let's actually make sure. Let's let's make sure we did this evenly. So there's two on that end and two on that end. So that works out. Uh, and then we need one, two, three, four, five. So this would be the perimeter. And what's interesting about this is if we did it this way, with this color and then set the grinder to this color, we can actually have the nanobots get rid of this. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else we need to do, or if we want to bring this one forward at all so we have a walkway along the back. That could be interesting. Let's do that, because that sounds interesting. So let's bring this forward one. And then we'll grab this color. And that gives us a nice border. So this is going to be where the uh, driller... Or not... Yeah, the drill platform. I was thinking driller drone. Uh, where that's going to be set in. Now, in terms of height... Let's see. Can I get... No, it's not going to give me the little highlight thing. All right. So roughly, these blocks are... Not, not roughly. They are two blocks. Um, yeah, these modules are two blocks high. So this is probably five. And let's go take a look. Probably five in height, I'm thinking. And, and that's going to be a bit of an issue because I did not really account for the height. But I have it. I mean, I can use my jetpack, I suppose. And um, fly up and, and hollow out a space for it. Alright, so this is going to be the actual platform. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Nope. Dang that it. <laughs> Whoops. One, two, three, four? Oh, it's only four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so it's four blocks high, and then it's two blocks deep from the walkway platform. Okay, so we're gonna have to do some hollowing 
to make that fit, I suppose. Alrighty, so I did some renovating, as you can see. Uh, what I did, I wasn't entirely sure how the game reacts to colliding with the uh, ground and stuff like that for certain aspects of the builds and things, so I went ahead and carved out a 5x5x4 five by five by block area, and I also excavated a little bit here to do... Um, two blocks down though. I didn't do the entire thing as you can see there's still some spots because I'm not sure if I really need to I just need enough to where I can get a hold of the latch points uh, for the uh, module stuff So but that should actually be everything that we need I don't actually know how some of this is being held up apparently. I guess it was attached to the grid um, so, with that, I have an idea. With that, we should be able to basically just paint the drill. Um, though we might have to remove the gravel and stuff. I don't really know. In terms of the volume, because that's a lot of volume. So let's check that out for a second. What do we actually have to work with here? Uh, oof, a lot. 909. So it actually is capped, which we're pretty close to what we said 2.7 million gravel. Uh, yeah. So we might have a smidge of a problem in that I might have to just make a new drilling platform and let it transpose the stuff. Even if it doesn't have enough to make it, I need it functional enough to access the inventory. Which isn't very much. Alright, so we need 1100 steel plates. Alright, 20 computers, 16 motors, everything else is steel. Let's double check and see what we have to work with. Because I'm pretty sure I just put some of this stuff... Oh. Okay, well you have some things. So there's 23 computers, there's 39 motors, there's 31 steel tubes, 9 construction components. Okay. So we need more, we need uh, 31 construction components. The large steel tubes, motors, and computers are fine. And then we need 1200 plates. So let's essentially use <laughs> we'll, we'll use the, uh... Oh, what is all this? Okay, hold on. We got stuff here. We might have everything we need. Wait, where did that go? Oh, there it is. Okay, so let's put... Oh, okay. We're doing pretty good. Okay. So, we actually only need... Let's just make... Like, a hundred of those. And let's just make, like, a hundred of those... And that should be good. And then by the time we get down here and actually set up another drill, there it is, uh, we should have more than enough materials to make a new one. Uh, we'll just have to make sure this one's power and stuff is off. Because we don't want it actually... Oh, and I don't want to paint it that. I actually want to paint it this so that it matches. And why... Um, why are you not snapping to anything? Oh, that's right. It's snap. It's set to the bottom corner, which is really weird. And I don't know why the anchor point is there. So if I make the anchor point... Okay. So if I do... Let's set these to ignore. I don't have any steel plates on me, do I? Dang damn it. Always being thwarted. Do I have some spare ones just laying around in this cargo container? That would be too good to be true. Okay, so what we're gonna do, I guess, is I just need a couple plates. That should be enough. Okay, so what I'm actually gonna do 
is do a couple of these. Please get under there. I hate it when I can't get under the lip there. That's all I need you to do. Why? There we go. Okay, so that's one. That's two. I actually need to go one further than that. Okay. We're going to have to hollow a piece out here. If we want this to work. Okay. So we'll snap one there whenever the gravel decides to clear out, which would just be lovely. Come on. Really? You just have to sit right there and not go away? Please? Thank you. Nope, that one, that one pebble. Thank you. Oy vey. Okay, so we got that one. So now if I set that there, that should give us two... Oh wait, that might be too far down. That's too far down. I didn't need to make a hole that big. Now that I think about it. Because it's going to be one, two, and then up to there. So I actually did not need to go three down. I only need to do that because that's going to be the one and the two. I think, if I did my math right. Who knows? All right. Now, with that in mind, I should be able, if I can get this to rotate correctly, which again, who knows? Okay, this is the part I want. Why, why won't you snap that way, is what I want to know. Good lord, get... Mm. Oh, actually, wait a minute. Hold on. No, I need this to go out further because that's a comp that's compensating for the modules. It's actually a 3x3, three three, isn't it? Okay, so I need to bring this out like that. And that actually works out because then while this is being built and stuff, we can go in and get rid of all that crap. Um, so we'll highlight there. There we go. Just like that. And with any luck, there we go. I was going to say it should start building. Now, I can get rid of this stuff. Unfortunately, we probably will have a little hole there unless I can figure out how to fix that, but oh well, whatever. Now, once again... Uh, where are my efficiency modules? There you are. And now we can spin those around, set those there, set that there, like so. Uh-oh. All right, I need to... Steal a couple more plates. Oh, that'll work. They're right there. Okay, cool. Now, uh, one thing I have to make sure to do is turn off this new drill platform. Oh, it's set to off by default. Well, would you look at that? It read my mind. All right, we'll set that to cooperative. It is on conveyor, so that works out fairly well. Yeah, I think that'll do good. How's the... Other than a few steel plates, it already repaired it. Sweet. Um, now the issue is going to be connecting the conveyor tubes in such a manner that I can actually transfer all that gravel, unless I just want to do it manually, which, ick, that sounds awful. Um, so more than likely, I will not be doing that. But what we can do is 
we can probably dismantle some of these power efficiency things. Because um, essentially all we have to do at this point, we could leave this where it is for now. Um, and just dismantle these things and bring them down to the lower area. And what that would do is even though this one would have to, or the one down there would have to build up more materials, um, it would allow it direct access once again to the assembler units and stuff like that. So, yeah. One way we can do this, though, just to be fun about it and see how it works, see if it actually works the way we want it to, is set these to be deconstructed because that should just break them down and then let the... Um, there we go. So that should break those down and then actually apply it to um, the stuff down in the lower area. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah. I think that's going to be the easiest way to get all this stuff done is to just start marking some of this stuff and tearing it down. Um, okay, drill platform's off. Cool. So we'll probably just be doing that kind of stuff and maneuvering and moving different sections in the next episode, I think. We'll probably continue this line of thought. But I think that's going to wrap things up here for this episode. So in the meantime, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.